Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we'll be discussing the problem leaf at same level. So basically what you'll be given is, you'll be given a binary tree and you have to check if all the leaf nodes inside the tree are at the same level or not. For example, if you see the first test case, so in the first test case, we have been given a tree that is one, two, and three and there are two leaf nodes that is uh, two is a leaf node and three is a leaf node since both of them are present at the same level you can see so that is why we can say that we will return true for this case because all the leaf nodes are present at the same level and this problem has been asked in Amazon previously. Now talking about the next test case that has been given to us. So the next test case is basically what? Suppose that we have one, then we have two, then we have three. Okay. Let's say we have four, then we have five. Now here, what are the leaf nodes that we have? So if you see the leaf nodes are four, five and three. So in this case, are all the leaf nodes present at the same level? No, all the leaf nodes are not present at the same level. So for this case, we will be returning what? We will be returning false here. So how can we solve this particular problem? For solving this particular problem, what I can do is initially I will be taking a flag variable. Okay, let's say we have been given this particular uh, diagram. This particular tree has been given to us. Okay, so initially I can do what? I can start my recursive traversal and I can have a depth variable. Okay, and initially we will take a flag indicating uh, which will indicate us that uh, whether or not the tree, uh, all the leaves inside the tree are at the same level or not. So initially we'll think that all the trees, uh, all the leaf nodes are at the same level and we'll be marking our flag as true. Then we will start our recursive traversal and initially we will say that uh, the level will be minus one for the leaf. Okay, because uh, before starting, we will initially mark the level of the leaf as minus one. Then once we start traversing, so the first leaf node that we will come across will be four because with respect to four, the left is also null and right is also null. So whenever for a uh, current node, if the left is null, right is null, so it is a leaf node. And by this time, suppose that if I have passed the depth initially as one, then here the depth would be two and here the depth variable would be three. So. Uh, if my level is minus one, then whatever depth I have got, I will update that uh, uh, depth to my level variable. Okay, that will indicate the level for the leaf. Now after this, what will happen is, we will keep on traversing the tree. And now next, from next time, whenever you will find a leaf node, then what is going to happen now next time where you will find the leaf node. So you will find the leaf node at five, right? And what is the depth at five? So you can see that uh, the depth will be three here only, right? So if you see the depth at the, at the node five is three and is the, uh, is the level minus one? No. So this means that already there is a leaf that is there and that level is also the same as the current depth. So that is why we'll say that everything is fine. Then next up when you will go back and then you, you will call on the right of one, then right of one is three, which is a leaf node. Now what will be the depth for three? The depth for the node three would be two. And I will check uh, that my level is not minus one. So the level is not minus one. This means there is already a leaf node at a particular level and it is the, at the level three and the current depth of the leaf node is two. So is the depth and the level same? No, they are not same. So whenever they will not be the same, then I can mark my flag as false and then I would immediately return. So this is how using the recursive traversal, we can find out whether or not in the given tree, all the leaves are at the same level. So let us try and uh, quickly implement this code uh, and see how we can fill the requirements. Okay. So what I will do is I will take a Boolean flag variable. Initially, I'll mark it as true thinking that the in the inside the current tree, all the uh, leaf nodes are at the same level. Okay. Then what I will do is I will call a recursive function right here. And inside this recursive function, I will pass this root. And what I will pass is I will also pass a level variable that I talked about. And initially, as I said, I'll mark the level initially as what minus one then after this what we will do is we will also be passing the initial depth and the initial depth would be what for the starting node it would be one only right for the very first root node i'll mark the depth as one and then apart from this we'll also mark uh, pass the flag variable and after this whatever is the condition of the flag variable whether if it is true it indicates that the current tree that was given to us it is uh, having all the leaves at the same level so it will be uh, returning true otherwise if it is false so this will mean that 
all the leaf nodes are not at the same level so the flag would be false so whatever is the situation of the flag we can directly return that okay so let me write flag here now what we will do is we will be calling our recursive function so we'll call void recursion okay and then we will pass what we'll pass the node start the root okay so we'll be passing the root node then what we'll pass is we'll pass the level uh, we'll pass it by reference because any changes that i make to the level i want to, it to be reflected in all the other calls so i'm passing it by reference for in java you can take it as global also if you cannot pass it by if you don't know how to pass it by reference then i will take the depth uh, so i'll have a depth variable that will indicate the current depth that i am at and i will also have the bool flag okay and i'll also pass the flag by reference because any changes that i'm making to the flag in this function should be reflected finally in the bool check function as well okay so if suppose that randomly i reach a particular node which is null then i'll say that we cannot do anything from there and we'll return if we reach a node suppose that if we reach a current uh, root node whose left is equal equal to null and the root um, for that root if the right is also equal equal to null so if there is a particular node that i'm at for which the left is null as well as the right is null then in that case we can say that it is a leaf node and if it is a leaf node that i need to check that if the level is equal equal to minus one then this means it is the first leaf node and then i will say that the level will be updated to the depth of this first leaf node that i have right otherwise what i will do is otherwise if the level is not minus one this means already i have seen a leaf node then i will check i will check what else i will check that else if it happens that the level is not minus one and the level is not equal to the depth of the uh, level of the leaf node previously is not equal to the level of the current uh, uh, level of the leaf node is not equal to the depth of the current leaf node so this means that uh, the leaves are not at the that the already the leaf that is existing and this current leaf is are not at the same level so then we should then we should do what we should mark our flag variable as nothing but false here okay and then we can simply return away from here because we don't need to check any further right uh, otherwise uh, if it is not a leaf node then we will call on the right as well as on the left so we'll call what we'll call root uh, left root dot left and then we'll pass the uh, level variable same as it is then we will increase the depth by one because if we are uh, going to the left child so the depth will increase by one and then we'll pass the flag variable as well and similarly what we'll do is we'll call the recursion and we'll call the roots uh, right guy and then we'll call the we'll pass the level okay then we'll do what we'll pass depth plus one because the depth if i'm going to a right child my depth would increase my level would increase uh, by one and then i'll pass the flag and once this recursive call is over then what would happen is uh, my flag variable would either be true indicating that uh, all the leaves are on the same level if it is false it will indicate that all the leaves are not on the same level so let's try and compile it and see if it is working fine on the samples or not so you can see it is working fine on the sample uh, let's try and submit it to check if it is getting accepted or not so you can clearly see that our code was able to pass all the 1120 test cases that are there so if you understood this problem clearly please make sure to comment understood in the chat and thank you for watching this video